Welcome to the North Show. Here I am, Ron the Star. There's lots of announcing and sports to get you bouncing. But I hope you see that it's all about me on the North Show intro tune. With Ron! Aren't you a junior? Aren't you a freshman? Yeah. So, did you have to take the SAT last week? Yeah, it was 14,400 seconds of torture. Oh, well, I've got two years. Good luck. Please stand for the pledge, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you like an opportunity to be a part of BHSN history? Here's your chance. Design a logo for next year's 50th anniversary for Bloomington High School North and win a cash prize and see displayed throughout all the different media outlets and gear for the next year's important anniversary. It's time for our annual Soul Food Fest on Thursday, March 24th during all lunches. This year's plate includes fried chicken, mac and cheese, and many other southern fixings. You can purchase your plate by visiting the link in the description. The deadline to purchase your plate is Sunday, March 20th. Hi, I'm Aiden. And I'm Lucy. And here's your lunch menus for this week. So, it's Monday again. What do you think of Mondays? No. Yeah, I get it. Okay, but I have a joke for you. So, Sunday and Monday get into a fight. Who wins? Sunday? Sunday, because Monday is a weekday. Speaking of Monday, on Monday we're going to have rotini with meat sauce, buttered corn, garlic toast, seasonal fresh fruit, crisp cut veggies, garden side salad, and assorted juicy juice. Juicy juice? That sounds weird. Juice box? What did the pitted fruit say when he got into a fight? I, I don't know. You want a peach of me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who wrote this? Terrible. Anyways, for lunch on Tuesday, we're having chicken fajita, toppings bar, lettuce, tomatoes, and onions, fiesta rice, black bean salsa, seasonal fresh fruit, crisp cut veggies, and a garden salad. Thank you. What's your name? Judd Garvin. Okay, I'm going to tell you a joke. Okay. So, what do you call a potato at a sports game? I don't know. A spectator. Get it? Because, like... Tater tots. <laughs> Speaking of tater tots, we're going to have mashed potatoes, Salisbury steak with brown gravy, green sweet peas, seasonal fresh fruit, crisp cut veggies, garden side salad, and assorted juicy juice. Sweet. Can't wait. Hi, I'm Aiden, and right now I'm with Keith. Hi, Keith. Hello, what, Aiden. What's your opinion? On what? Never mind, we don't want your opinion. But on Thursday, we want the chicken tenders, roasted Brussels sprouts, seasonal fresh fruit, crisp cut veggies, and garden salad. That's pretty good. You're kind of mean. Uh, hi, I'm here with Blake. How are you today, Blake? I am fantastic. Would you like to hear the lunch menu for Friday? Sure. Okay. On Friday, we'll have beef hot dogs, creamy mac and cheese, buffalo cauliflower, seasonal fresh fruit, crisp cut veggies, a garden side salad, and assorted juicy juice. Blake, would you like to hear a joke? Do I have a choice? No. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Cut the cameras. Like, you weren't supposed to get the joke right. You're making me look bad out here, man. <laughs> hey, we're still recording. Did, did he mess it up for you? Can we cut this from the audio? No. Camera's still on. Uh, anyway, sorry about that, guys. Uh, enjoy your lunches for this week. Go back to class. Thanks. Hey, guys. <laughs> 
If you need help completing the FAFSA, join us today, Monday, March 7th at 5 p.m. in the BHSN Media Center. This event is free and is open to the MCCSC community. Check the link description for more information. Hi, I'm Peter Lee. And I'm Larry Staples. And here are the upcoming sports for the next week. On Wednesday, boys and girls track have the HSR qualifier at IU. And finally, on Saturday, girls gymnastics has the state meet at Ball State in Muncie. Good, Good luck, luck, athletes, athletes in all your upcoming your events. events. Hi, I'm Alexandra and welcome back to Northside Press Box. This past week was an eventful one for Cougar Athletics. Last Saturday, girls gymnastics competed in sectionals and won for the first time since 1984. Great job, girls gymnastics. Last Friday, boys basketball defeated New Albany 61 to 33. And last Tuesday, they won their first round of sectionals against Columbus East 48 to 37. Great job, basketball. Also, boys swimming competed in state last weekend and got in 11th place. Amazing job this week, athletes. I am so excited for the musical coming up. I decided I wanted to learn some choreography from it. So I am here with Elise, the dance captain, and Santina, the lead of the musical. She plays Violet. And let's learn some choreography. Woo! Legs, but keep your body straight. And we do six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, after that, it's pretty simple. We just go stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, clap. And we just do that a bunch. Go see 9 to 5, March 11th, 12th, and 13th, 7.30 on Friday and Saturday, and 2 o'clock on Saturday and Sunday. Adults are $15, uh, and students are $10. Go see the musical! <laughs> yep. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> Deep Thoughts by Some Random Student Horror movies are less scary when you support the bad guy. This has been Deep Thoughts by Some Random Student It's Kira, da 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 it's Kira, da 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 it's Kira. It's me, Kira, and today I'm asking some juniors about how they thought the SATs went because they took it recently. So today we have, what's your name? Uh, Devin. Devin, and how did you feel about taking the SATs? I was fairly confident, but it's a, it's a tough test. It's very draining. Do you think you did a good job? I think I did fairly good. I wasn't you know, perfect, but I think I did good. Well, that's good. Thank you, Devin. Hey, what's your name? I'm Layla Essett. Layla, um, might I ask, you took the SATs, right? Yeah. All right. Um, was it anything like you expected it to be? Yeah, it was pretty much set up like the PSATs, where like the math section with the calculator was easier than the one without the calculator. But yeah, it's pretty much the same. Awesome. Do you think you did a good job? Uh, I think I did all right, I guess. All right is good. All right is good. Thank you, Layla. No problem. Hey, what's your name? Jax. Jax, um, you took the SATs, right? Yep. Uh, did you study for them by chance? Not at all. <laughs> so you just were like, ooh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I never, I've never studied in my life. Um, <laughs> uh, did you think you did well or not? 
on the English portion, yeah. The math portion? Oh, I totally bombed that. <laughs> Same, honestly. Well, thank you for your time, Jack. No problem. Well, that was fun learning about all the juniors and how they thought the SATs went. Back to you guys. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode, first of the second semester of Howard's Hallway. Today I got with me John Rushton. John, what grade are you in? Uh, I'm a senior. All right, John, let's get cruising and we'll learn a little bit more about you. All right. So, as we look outside, John, weather's changing. What are you looking forward to most about kind of the coming of spring weather? Uh, looking for warmer workouts on the track, I guess. Okay. Uh, and uh, when does track season like officially start when you guys start having meets? Uh, we were gonna have meets at the end of February, but unfortunately we weren't able to, so early March. Okay, very cool. Um, also as a senior, you might be able to lend a little perspective to some of our younger students. What kind of spring events might be going on here at North or in the community that you're kind of looking forward to as the school year winds down? Um, near the beginning of, or near the end of the year, it's mainly just the spring events for sports and that's about it. I guess musicals for theater. Okay, very cool. Uh, so make sure you check out those athletic events and the musical. John, we're gonna pause here for a little thumbs up, thumbs down. You like it, thumbs up. You don't like it, thumbs down. Some people go in the middle when they want to be difficult and make my job harder and that's always an option too. Right. So we are gonna start with e-learning snow days. How do you feel about the e-learning snow days? Okay, a fan, I, I, okay. I'm just gonna let that go. Wordle. Yeah. Okay. Grand Wordle. Now this is another Wordle related question. All right. Publicly posting your Wordle score for the whole world to see. If you're good. <laughs> okay. So if you're out there doing that, teacher, students, uh, John approves. Um, so talk to me about, uh, you know, spring break. Is there any, do you have any goals, anything you want to do, anything you're hoping to experience over spring break? Uh, I don't really know what's going to happen. I just know I'm going to Florida, so I don't really have any goals. I'm just going to enjoy the vacation. Hit the beach? Yeah. Let's see, there's a worthy goal. Um, one of the things we wanted to ask about is, as the school year is kind of getting close to the end, biggest difference for you this school year versus last school year? Uh, the senioritis is really kicking in this year. <laughs> okay, the senioritis, you didn't get... Uh, any sort of treatment for that or anything? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're gonna pause here, John, and finish it off with a little bit more thumbs to th thumbs down. Uh, we're gonna talk about neon colors. Are you wearing a neon orange mask right now? That is true, I didn't have any other masks. Uh, okay, not by choice. Uh, the new pizza. I've never had it. You've not had the new I've pizza? I've had the new pizza. Okay, just based on the smell and look alone, do you think it looks better than, new, than pizza in a bag? Than in a bag, yeah. Okay, better than pizza in a bag. Um, bluegrass music. Ouch, thumbs down for the bluegrass music. Okay, and the last one, and this one's super important and highly indicative of a person's character, penguins. Penguins are pretty cool. You got it right for penguins. All right, everybody, this has been John Rushton. It's been lovely to be here with you again, and we will see you again soon. There's no school Monday, March 14th through Friday, March 18th for spring break. Enjoy your break. Spring break's coming up. I know, it's just a week away. You going anywhere? Yeah, New York. Oh, the concrete jungle. What are you talking about? Where dreams are made of? Anyways. Where have we gone wrong with this generation? <laughs> You're two years older than me. <laughs> and remember to respect yourself. Respect others. Be responsible for your own actions. And remember, it's, it's great, great to, to be a cougar. cougar.